For the day that it is, I've decided to read a Halloween-themed short story that I've written only recently, so I hope you enjoy it. This is called Monster BFFs. Jim the werewolf and Tim the vampire sat in front of their fire on an unusually calm but cold Halloween Eve. They just finished their extravagant meal and were comfortably digesting it before their night's work ahead of them. Naturally, their conversation turned to their favourite aspects of Halloween that included which scares they preferred. Well, personally, I find it hilarious when people figure out all of this hair is in fact not stuck on and I am in fact a real werewolf, Jim said, smiling at the thought of it. He was lounging on the rug in front of the fireplace, preening his fur with his exceptionally long tongue. For me, it's outliving mortals and taking their blood for myself, Tim flashed his pointy fangs. He sat in a high-backed, elegant armchair with his legs folded and drumming his skinny fingers with their long nails against the soft material on the armrest. What's more difficult to choose, though, is a favourite scare. Jim raised his hand in the air and scratched behind his ear. Oh, that's easy, Tim scoffed, puffing up his chest. If it's so easy, tell me what's your favourite scare, Jim asked the vampire before coughing up a hairball. Shifting into a different position, Jim said, What I do is I lure a group of tourists into the dark forest and I pass myself off as a guide, bringing them on a tour of the scariest parts of the forest. Once I bring them deep enough among the trees, where I know they won't be able to find their way out again, I turn to them and with a flash of my fangs and an evil chuckle, I turn into a bat and chase them away as they scream, petrified for their lives, knowing their blood is going to be drunk. Seeing their reactions to me changing and trying frantically to find their way out of the forest always makes me hoot with laughter. This made Jim chuckle and he replied, I can't decide which is my favourite scare. Between setting up a scene for people to come across me eating from a carcass and then dramatically turn and growl at them, with blood dripping from my mouth, to pouncing in amongst a group of unexpecting humans and giving my best hell before turning to the humans around me and bound after them as they run as fast as they can screaming in terror. There's just too many to choose from. Before their conversation to go any got to go any further, the doorbell rang to their mansion on the edge of town. Smiling at Jim, Tim smiled, baring his fangs and asked, Are you ready for another Halloween of scaring the bejesus out of everyone? Jim stood, bowed before Tim and said, After you, Mr. Vampire. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments. Happy Halloween!